time we're up. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very, very exciting time. Um, me and my husband, we have started playing this. It's called Pokemon Planet. And I'm, I'm sure I'm just really behind in this, considering how many people I already see in this. So, But it's new for us, so it's incredibly exciting. It's basically... What I'm going to guess is, right now, either like Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green, maybe. But... Multiplayer. And it's amazing. It's an actual Pokemon MMO, and it's absolutely fabulous. You walk around with your Pokemon. Here, here's my Kadabra, who is, and the fabulous part is I had no idea how rare Abras were. I had no idea. I went to the grass over by the Nugget Bridge in Celadon City. You go over in that little side where the water is, and you can usually find Abras there. Kadabra's my favorite, so I always know where to find them. So I was over there looking and found one in about five minutes, give or take, roughly. I had no idea this was a big deal. Apparently, this Pokemon is incredibly rare in this version of the game. There have been people looking for five plus days. So, Abra's call to me. Abras are my favorites, cadavers are my favorites, and they love me too. So here's mine. With his tossing spoon. So this game um, has pretty much been making my past week. I was looking at a different Pokemon MMO actually, and went to look for it and just happened to cross this one. It's just everything that you ever loved about the original Pokemon. Like, this is the bike shop. Like, the only major difference is, is you don't necessarily get items out of the storyline. Simply. Like, usually you'd go talk to the bike manager, and he'd tell you that the bike is like a million jillion money. Whatever. But then later on, you just get a free one anyway. That was the entire point. Well, now if you talk to him... They're only 250 that well, I say only very loosely. You do earn money for every battle, including wild encounters here. But you're not getting 100, you're getting like... I've been generally been getting anywhere from 18 to 20. But we did just sign up to be gold members, which will do an increase in experience and money. And it makes it easier to find Pokemon because, needless to say, Caleb has been looking for an Abra for two or three days now. And he is rather frustrated. Bless his heart. I think we're gonna go look for him and Ghastly eventually. We're gonna get to where both me and him are on here. Cause he's got one too. And then, you know, you see all of my held Pokemon at the top here. I picked Charmander, of course. I got Charmeleon. I also found a sand shrew. I found mine earlier. Caleb finally got his, but I got mine earlier. You can- it's a little glitchy. You can stand on buildings. At least part, part of the way. So I, I had just beat Misty. Got two badges, beat Brock, beat Misty. And now, oh look, the police officer's moved now. There is that same, some of it, some of the story is still the same. Like, they're still the same that some people got robbed over here. And you still fight Team Rocket, at least in some form or fashion. Because I've already run into him. But, I mean, right now, I've really, because, uh, you know, we are in Kanto, so I predominantly have seen the original 150, but with, when you look at the chat over here, people are always selling, like, all different kinds of Pokemon from different generations and regions and stuff, so we will presumably get, you know, our, our Totodiles and Cyndaquils and Chimchars and all those other starters and whatnots awful lot though. I kind of wonder quite how many they've actually incorporated. So at this point, okay, well, 
I got eight Pokeballs, a couple potions. And a silk. I guess I should just give it to somebody. Most of the time I just kind of put those on Pokemon. Guess we can see what's floating around here. But pause, do we have to go back? Um, yeah, I need to jump over here. You don't really jump over ledges in this one. Just kind of float over them. Got an Oddish. Now, I, yeah, I do already have an Oddish. Caleb has since evolved his. I just kind of fight on principle. Leveling up seems to be a lot easier. It does, it, well, in the beginning anyway. Like, you jump from level, you know, 3 or whatever to 10, 12 in a matter of what felt like about 10 minutes itself. But seems to slow down when you get a little higher level. That's all the same. Tons of Pidgeys, tons of Raditas. Radita, Radicate though. Let me tell you, like that is one of the. It's very underrated. I'm not saying go and take it to the the Elite Four or anything like that. But Radicate is a very underestimated Pokemon. The thing is strong, Hyper Fang, Super Fang, and it has speed to boot. Like it, most people don't. Yeah. I carry Eradicates a lot more than I carry Pidgeotos, and it seems like I see a lot more of the flying type around.
we'll just call it that because I think that's the closest thing I can get to it. Hi Pidgey. Thanks Pidgey. How are you? Whichever way you'd like to swear that. Still kind of a baby. Hi, Sanshu. Them, like to avoid copyright, they just kind of added or, like a remix to the original Pokemon songs in the game. Here we go, lots of open grass and stupid blocking guards and go around you guards. Yeah, you still can't have. Trainer battles. And you can't, apparently, after you have to get the first two gym badges before you can really do anything like talk and chat. Or apparently fight other people. I haven't tried to. He's got a diglet floating behind him. I love it. I haven't really tried to fight online people though yet. Of course, there's a Weedle. It's kind of a higher Weedle though. Weedle level. Oh my god! Jeez! Okay, you're gonna have to do better than that though, you're getting crit hit by a freaking Weedle. What the hell? Yeah, it just makes me slower, but... Yeah, Poison Sting's not gonna do a whole lot. Oh, and another critical hit. He just died to a Weedle, that's awesome. You know what? That's why we have you kind of Butterfree. Fight your bug, my better bug. My Nidorino was after Sandshrew. That'll work for really, I guess. This is called Pokemon Planets. It's an online game. Literally, you can just go on the website and get signed up and join this game and it is way too much fun. I've been addicted.
think it's everything you love about the original, like, probably like Fire Red versions, but even more Pokemon, like more of the original ones. Or more than just the original ones. Haven't seen any yet, but we're still in Kanto. Pikachu? I have yet to find a wild Pikachu. Apparently they might be really rare like Abras and stuff too. Like some of the better early on Pokemon apparently they just have a really, really high chance of not finding them forever. Why we've been on a Abra hunt for the past like three days. We're about to go on a ghastly hunt. We'll see how that goes. Oh good, I'm paralyzed. Pikachu is going to keep my one more. Ha ha! Come over here. These have all your basics still. Uh, you know, got your Pokeballs, potions. Over here and give one to Midorino. And switch him out for a little bit. Yeah, even if the Pokemon's fainted, if you want your favorite Pokemon to always walk around with you, they will. Hold on, there was one more. You fight me too. Yes, I was listening to you. Oh, shit. Wrong. All wrong. Very wrong. No, I didn't quite mean to have the camera so big, guys. There is a lot more you could be seeing here. Hold on. Fix this a little bit. Kinda go over here. There we go. There's a whole lot more you could have been saying there. My apologies. Oh, he killed me! Cadabra! What the hell, buddy? Get some more types going. Eradicate. Oh, we got a dark move. Bitch, what? See, bite turned into a dark move. Fine, I guess. Fair enough. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to fight you. Okay, yeah, that works too, though. Go, Charmeleon. Kick your ass. 
us on Confuse. We'll get over that though. There you go. Snapped out of confusion. One hit. Ghost Town, that's right. Okay. He's just got this magic heart flopping behind him. I love it. I mean, oh well, okay, you came up to me. Dragon Rage. Just scratch him. Another? Okay. Like, they'll still probably never make my absolute dream. They need to make- it needs to be like Pokemon and Fallout. It would be amazing. The quality of it would just be astounding. They'd have to really know that game would work, though, to put in that kind of time and effort to it. So I doubt it, but God, it would make me so happy. Just scratch. He's dead. You're good. See? He knows. He's got to eradicate. <laughs> so this should assumably be Lavender Town? No? No, this isn't Lavender. Oh, okay. Yeah, Santa's here. I guess he was an event, but, you know. Hi, Santa. Pokemon centers, you just walk into them. I guess their joy is literally just here for effect. You even. Your Pokemon were automatically healed upon entrance. Oh, well, convenient. Uh, you do still come over here. It's just your box, though. There's nothing else. There's no items or anything as far as I've seen. So there's everything else that I've caught so far. <clears throat> Definitely need to do a little bit of training, though. We would have Lieutenant Surge coming up. So, Sanshrew over here definitely needs to gain some levels, if not of all. Because gems, gems are still relatively difficult. We still need to train for gems. Geodude might be helpful too, but we'll, we'll see about that. and you still fish. You actually have to, like, level up your abilities, though, instead of just buying the rod. Yeah, fishing guru. Yeah, but you actually have to pay for it. Do I have 5,000? because now I'm down to 5,000 and we can start fishing. Can I catch a Vaporeon? That would be... No, you can't, but that would be awesome. I 
everybody needs a good magic heart does make Gyarados. Maybe, maybe we'll find a good magic harp and get us a Gyarados here. Seeing somebody walking around with a red Gyarados, a shiny Gyarados. Insane jealousy. We're just gonna see about catching this one off principle. Shakes again, again. It's a magic harp. Come on, yeah, we caught it. Okay, so there's one at least. Do I have to hit it every time I guess? Everyone's just lined up with their Pokemon fishing. I guess an Arbok, Weeping Bell. Oh no, okay, it'll just randomly generate. That was a little seven. He's got Charizard, we'll get there eventually too. Right there, shiny Gyarados. He's ready. Just went to the shop. Little mental pack. Krabby! Ah! Yes. I love Krabbies. <laughs> Use Swift. Krabbies are awesome, and when you walk around with them in this game, they walk around sideways and everything. Krabbies just. they make me laugh. And he killed it. Damn it, Sandshrew! Ugh. I should have just gone on and tried to catch it. Generation Pokemon right there. And I guess your ability just continues to go up. While you fish? Yeah, see, here's your trainer levels. So, you know, apparently there'll be something else we can work on later on. Fishing is 25 out of 67, level 3. I don't want a magic carp, I've got one, I want that Krabby! just an old rod, so I guess a good rod and a super rod are in the question, too, so we'll get better stuff eventually. Ah, oh, she has a Vulpix. Jealous. Oh, good. Got one of those. Your fishing has increased to four. Is having a sleep. Crabby was my chance. Oh, training magic carps are like training abras though. They don't know anything that can actually do any kind of damage. So you just gotta wait. Bro, 
broke free. What the hell? It's a magic arm. No. No. It will be mine. Haha, -ha, bitch. I could use a water Pokemon. Sanchiru is trying to learn Fury Cutter. Got Swift, Scratch, Rapid Spin. I don't do nothing with Rapid Spin, sure. Because Sanchiru would evolve at like 22. Really wouldn't even take that long to get a Gyarados. I really, I mean, water Pokemon, I love Gyarados. I, I am a girl, I do love Vaporeon. Dugong is pretty good with his ice. Lapras is always good. There's a lot of good water Pokemon as compared to other types. You can pretty much get any water Pokemon and kick ass with it. guy with the goatee just appeared on top of this guy like Jesus like sitting on top of him fishing as if there's not already room Krabby ooh this one's a level 10 don't kill it Sanshrew thank you except he's gonna kill me Ground is not the right type to be using, I'm very aware. It's just, he's a low level and I want to catch this Krabby. What level does Krabby evolve? Yay! That's what I'm saying, like almost any water Pokemon. Maybe I'll just take a Kingler and use it. I don't think I've ever actually really even used a Kingler. Alright, we'll move on. That's probably as good as we're gonna get. Well, there's a couple Magikarp and a Krabby. Mighty Nine Tails. Oh, that's why she's got a Vulpix. Makes sense. I think he's my favorite. I just like walking around with him. I'm gonna look around the town for a minute. There's Lieutenant Surge. We gotta go do the SSN first so I can get cut so we can get in there, though. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Sometimes you can't even go in places that are just there. No. Pichu! Legendary Altar. When the target is reached, double experience will be applied to the entire server for one hour. Huh. I don't really have any credits or anything. That kind of comes with being a gold member, which I'm still waiting on my approval for some reason. Egg moves 
from your Pokemon here. The price is one egg move ticket per move. Well, that makes sense. Special moves for your Pokemon with one move tutor ticket. I don't have any move tutor tickets. Oh, but you can get old. Okay. Fire punch, ice punch, thunder, the little punches, snore, sleep, talk, iron, tail, iron, tail, okay. Trick, roll, play, magic coat, cycle, knockoff, skill swap, snatch, signal beam, gravity, brain punch, zen headbutt. Use zen headbutt, that's good. Wonder room, magic room, foul play, so it's all like the. Okay. Not all very physical moves, they're all special ability kind of deals. It's on him, I wonder if they're for different Pokemon. Like, if you do Charmeleon, what's he gonna learn? Oh no, it's Fire Plush. Oh no, see, okay, they're different for each one. Charmeleon can learn Outrage, Sleep Talk, Iron Tail, Heat Wave, Fire Pledge. Those are definitely newer moves. Uh. Pretty sure my Charizard new Fire Pledge in Pokemon X. I'm pretty confident. That's kind of nifty. What else would you teach? Oh, I could do Arena. Arena was like everything. Super Friends, Super Fire, Super Fire. Okay. Oh, Drill World. Oh. Like a oh, oops. Sorry, I need to hit that again. Teach butter. Electroweb. Your clan war. Okay, see, I haven't heard of this clan war stuff yet. Tickets, so you can get the tickets there. You can get this Larvitar Dowdrop. I'll take a Tyranitar. Here, Clan War Assistant. Welcome to Clan War Center. Clan War occurs every Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When a clan war is going on, you can enter the special map to the right and pit your skills against other clans with similar levels. Okay. There are three tiers of levels in the clan wars, 1 through 33, 34 through 66, and 67 through 100. The higher the tier, the more battle points you are awarded for defeating someone. Clan with the most battle points at the end of the time wins. All clans receive a small prize for participating, but the winning clan receives an extra bonus for their efforts. You should just lose. <laughs> anyway, you can exchange your clan war tokens with the prize NPC to my left that we were just talking to. Okay. Well, it's Tuesday. That sucks. So I guess we'll have to try this sometime. You can't use evasion, sleep, and freeze. The evasion clause prevents moves that boost evasion from being used. Yeah. So can't use anything that's gonna make you move away faster. Prevents more than one Pokemon from being asleep at a time. Prevents more than one Pokemon from being frozen at a time. Right. Okay. That's over here. Center. You can enter the PvP area by using the door to the top right corner. Once inside, click on another player to start a battle. If you win, you'll receive some PvP points. The player with the most points at the end of the week will receive 800 credits and access to the Master Shop. Okay. I'm probably not nearly high enough level to be doing this. But we can always check it out. Giant statue of Mewtwo. Who doesn't like Mewtwo? I'm sorry. Yeah, Mewtwo. That's cool. I like the Mewtwo statue. Okay, 
I see a Firo, a Beedrill. Not really anybody in here. I'm kind of surprised. The shiny Gyarados. Yeah, you can just like awkwardly stare at people and nobody really cares. Pokemon in the grass, maybe. I need to get some Pokeballs. I just need a couple. I know. No, this one has a bar and didn't work. go get Magikarp too and be leveling him up. One thing at a time though, Shandri is the experience. Charmeleon fights this Pidgey, apparently. So I had to pick a fight. I guess at least you don't have to go and click, 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 and try to get through. There's Joy talking. Dust skull. I want a dust skull. I love those. Bell sprout. I like bell sprout. Ow. Damn grass. 
last Pokemon? Oh, you're really weak against Bell's Sprout. This is kind of a bad idea. And I fell asleep. That's not good. True, he keeps dying, man. And back we go. Santa, move. You're inconvenienced. Grass Pokemon too. One more, go. Good job. Better. 
Shiny Gyarados! That would be awesome. Level 16! Eh. Levels are a factor. Oh goodness, no. That's not gonna work. Let's see. I'm just gonna die. Go Kadabra. And death. And we'll go heal. I need to get some more potions. Oh, never mind. Sandshrew. Yay, Sandshrew. Good job. Level 16. Make a sand slash out of you yet? painting so fast. Level 27 murder. Encountered a level 60 Cyndaquil. Jeez. So you encounter Pokemon at like insanely high levels than in just the console games. Probably gonna be a little difficult to find. Charmeleon. Burn, bitch! 
walk over actual players, but in-game trainers are kind of a pain in the ass in this game anyway. Charmeleon. Sandshrew is trying to learn magnitude. Yes. Very much yes. Awesome. Magnitude is Good. Yes, finally. We needed that. Good job, Sanshu. Can't use it on a Pidgey, though. Ineffective against a Pidgey. a couple potions. Conveniently right here. And healed. Really still am considering that magic harp though. Because really, like, I'm it you have to buy evolution stones, so the chances of me having a moonstone to evolve that Nidorino into a Nido King is going to be pretty slim to none for a long time. At least it would be a little beneficial to have a Magikarp evolve into a Gyarados. Like I have a Sea King? I don't usually see people use a Sea King. It's crabby! Hey Nidorino. I'm gonna put you away for now, buddy. Oh, which one's which? I think this one. Yeah. Got a Gengar. Yeah, you can get wings apparently too. Like I've seen those. Are, I love those Dragonite wings, but I've seen Charizard wings and Crobat wings too. The only other one I've ever seen is a Blastoise. Oh, it's not allowing me to go that way. I must have 
to do something else first. who at least have the fog badge. That is not a Kanto badge. That's much later on then. So I can still go inside. Is it gonna be like the old SSA where you got a bunch of battles? No. Those are not rooms. So it's not going to actually be the SSM. Where you get a whole- yeah, you can't even go past there. Okay. SSN ticket, I mean, it's gotta be useful for something at some point. Gary, he'd come running down at you right here. See, there's still the captain. Hi, captain. I feel hideous, seasick. You rub the captain's back. Creepy. Ooh, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. You want to see my hidden cut technique? Yes, I do. I could show you my hidden cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know you can have this, this hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon and you can use cut anytime. Using cut can, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees around Vermilion City? Yay, so we have cut now. So we can go back to the Viridian Forest and go through the deeper Viridian Forest and we can go fight Surge. Everything opened up. And any one of these Pokemon can learn cut. So. I don't really have a HM, an HM camel, an HM mule. I guess I might should make one. Will they fight you? Yes, they will. Alright. Machop. Try your magnitude. Oh, I didn't tell you what level your magnitude is. That's kind of sad. See, I really need an electric Pokemon. I haven't even found an electric Pokemon to catch. You're part poison, though. Go Butterfree. That one's Sailor Trevor. Another Machop. A little higher. Now your magnitude again. Ooh, that one went good. Oh, shit. Well, alright then. Easily remedied. Go, Kadabra. A shelter. I have used a cloister before. Cloisters aren't too bad. Learn Ice Beam. Have a really good defense. I guess that's 
about the extent of the SS and excitement. I was really hoping there'd be more trainers on, like, in-game trainers on here. But it doesn't just float away like it does in the other game either. Let's go do a little bit more training. We gotta get San Santa! Santa! My goodness. But I'll have to get Sandshrew leveled up and probably evolve to beat Surge. trying to go the other way and see if there was more training grass out there, but it wasn't letting me go, so I might have to beat him first. Last voice. Oh, we did forget. I forgot to go to the store. Oops. Oops! We need to go get some potions. Let's go to the Pokemon Center too. Almost to level 18. I think we gotta get to 22 with him. Because I think Misty's Pokemon were in like the 18 to 20 range, so Surge should be a little bit higher than that. Grass is kind of a bad idea. Oh, you ass. Wakey, wakey! Poison him, please? 
Yeah, we'll just miss. That's, that's always better. So many pages. Yay, Pidgey was poisoned. And Pidgey's gonna kick my ass. So you take damage anyway. I mean, trying to get to level 20 seems like it takes forever in comparison. Well, shit. yet. As long as I've been trying to level up Sand True, we've made like two levels. Magikarp, I just took it, took you know, one level higher in a matter of a minute and a half. <laughs> at level 12.
making our way to that Gyarados. Magic cards just fl out flopping out behind me. Go turn me lead. Ember. 
last card. We'll heal really quick. Like, I'll probably be playing this until they finally release Pokemon Go. I am so... The Pokemon Go app game is going to be so awesome. I really hope, anyway. I've read all about the speculations about how people think the gameplay's not going to be the, as good and stuff, but I think the concept is absolutely brilliant, and if they play it outright, it's going to be so much fun. And we're going to have to figure out how to go, and we're going to live stream, and we'll go walk around a bunch of places and catch Pokemon. I'd try to do some cosplay, it would be awesome. It would be absolutely awesome. I had a lot of cosplays I did that I never got to do. I always had a really good Rapidash idea that I never got to do. Charmeleon stuck out in the water fishing. I don't think you need to throw your Charmeleon into the water to fish. That doesn't seem very nice, huh, Charmeleon? Kid, I have to come home and do my homework before I can sit down and play Pokemon. Or in this case, I had to get up and do my homework before I could play Pokemon.
Magikarp grew to level 15. And Magikarp learned tackle! Magikarp learned tackle! We're getting somewhere! Go, my fluffy Magikarp! Oh god, that would take forever. Yeah, no, we still can't do that, but it's okay. Good trying, Magikarp. Poison sucks. Well, that's okay. That guy, Samurott? Really? Well, I'm right above, uh, Vermilion. In that little area. Uh, my name on there is Mistress Minx. It's M-I-S-T-R-I-Z-M-I-N-X-X. -X. What area are you in? Miss uh, Tamiyaki Mail. Ah, Pidgey. No, not yet. I needed to heal first. hanging out trying to get a Gyarados or a Sand Slash, whichever one kind of happens first. like bounce around behind you. Not to mention Doug Trio is badass. Confirm friend. See, this is why I love Pokemon, man never know. Have you heard of the Pokemon Go game that's gonna come on? Because that one's gonna be awesome too. So I guess, have you been playing this game for a minute? I haven't even seen Diglets yet. I haven't been able to catch a Diglet yet. I guess you're a little further ahead. Hello, Ice Cream Men! How are you doing today? Not switching. Fight! Stop trying to switch! Lazy. I'm already asleep. Stop trying to put me more to sleep. Ah! You bastard. Yeah, we can go see where Diglett's at. Let me go. Magikarp. 
Und was durch Lead the Way? After Heels, yes. Crowbat. Be awesome. walk on top of people on accident. Okay, yeah, see, I hadn't gone up this- I hadn't gone up quite this far yet. I haven't gone to beat Surge yet. I was just gonna rely on my Sand Shrew. Well, cool, I appreciate it. Aha! Diglett! Thank you! You can get us a Diglett. Good training for Magikarp. So how long have you been playing this cam? You've been at this for a minute? Because we just found this, like, about a week ago. I'm surprised I hadn't heard of it sooner. out of that bed once today. Did it really? Damn. Yay! Mission accomplished. We have Diglett. team of six with a Raichu and Electabuzz. Oh, damn. Yeah, I, I figured, I didn't know about the Electabuzz. I figured you would have to have a Raichu. I was thinking maybe Magneton or something like that, though. What levels? Mid-20s, probably. Yeah, see, I gotta get some leveling up still, because Sandshrew would be good. He's only level 18, though. He also has... A yeah, okay, I was figuring he had that Magneton. See, Charmeleon will kick the Magneton's ass, though, because at this point, they've got Steel as part of it, so I've got that one for him, so he'll do okay. And Kadabra's fast, so that'll work. And then we'll get Sandshrew leveled up. Yeah, I know. We might have to... I might put Magikarp on hold for a minute because he's not really going to help me with anything go train that Diglett for a while. Like I said, I appreciate it. Thank you. Four times effective. Yeah. Doug Trio takes a minute, though. Isn't Doug Trio, like, level 32 before he'll evolve into that or something? Maybe, or 28? I don't know. I get kind of confused on which ones are higher up sometimes. I want wings. One of these days, I will have to have wings. Alright, Magic Carp, we're gonna put you on hold for a minute, buddy. I wanna read it. I mean, yeah, I've got I've got a knitter and female. I just haven't evolved her. I do have Nidorino. But I figured the chances of me ever getting up enough money to buy a Moonstone worth is probably going to be a little bit, considering the prices that I've been seeing, and I've only got like some 5,000 yen right now. Since I bought the old rod, that's where a lot of it went. Nitto Queens are like, I've used Nitto Queens way more than once, man. They're badass when they're done right. Here. I'm just gonna go on like a training spray for a minute because I really do want that Gyarados. It's just not gonna help anything. 
Oh yeah, see, I love, see, my husband always, Caleb always makes fun of me. I love Bulbasaur too. I took a Charmander just kind of, because I was playing with, this is the first time I've ever even done a run through on Pokemon Planet. But I've always loved Venusaur's too. Yeah, so poison and ground, and you're pretty much set. Butterfree, well, Nidorino had a little bit of poison. Butterfree has poison sting, I think, but that's not enough to really do anything. Oh, Diglett, you did not heal. Yay, Diglett. My Diglett, he looks like he's crying. He's having a moment. He needs to go see Santa and feel better. So, like, further on down the game, I heard something. Aren't you able to, like, go and catch the starters later on? Like, there was a cave I heard you could catch Charmanders in or something like that. Or you could get Bulbasaurs back in Viridian Forest on, like, the other side of it. Gotcha. Yeah, I see. I did use, I did just play X. I was a little behind because I didn't have a three, oops, just got stuck in the fight. I didn't have a 3DS for a while. My husband surprised me with one I ended up doing. Um, he went on and did the Charizard Y and I got Blastoise on X. So really, I probably should have used Bulbasaur in principle. You got Ekans. Yeah, just a way higher level. Crap. That didn't go very well. All right. <laughs> 21 is a little high on 14 in this game, though. Levels are a bit more of a difference than the console games, I feel like, on this one. on here in place too and he's got Squirtle so you've got Bulbasaur he's, I've got Charmander he's got Squirtle it would be a good time see I like that it's a little bit more challenging you get to the point where you were just like running through on the consoles Yeah, see, I thought, it, I thought it was like fire red or leaf green, but it, just because of the graphics of it. But I, you know, I grew up with the original Pokemon coming out, so this is exactly what I would want. Can you go to, are you, are you able to go to other regions like Johto and stuff, though? Like after you beat the Elite Four here? I do Santa. other regions after Kanto. Awesome. That's what I was hoping for. Makes this game even longer. I want lots of gameplay. Oh, that guy looked like he wouldn't wear no clothes for a second. Alright, good deal. 
Yeah, I just got cut. Yeah, I just went on SSN and got cut. So we'll have to go back down. I'll have to go back down to Viridian, go to the deep part, deeper part of Viridian. I heard there's more Pokemon to catch out there. Like, I, I gotta figure out if there's a way. I've still got the my Nintendo 64. I've been playing uh, Pokemon Stadium just for giggles. Unlock Mewtwo. Had way too much fun with it. I've still got Pokemon Snap, too, which is far more lame, but entertaining for a couple of hours. Diglett, I'm gonna need you to survive a little bit longer than one fight. Please. I gotta get you trained up, buddy. Your team is Diglett, Pidgeotto, and Ivysaur. Are this your strongest ones? I've got, you know, you can see mine. My Diglett, Charmeleon, Butterfree. My Kadabra is my pride and joy. I had no idea how hard it was to find an Abra. I, honest to God, I had absolutely no idea. I just knew that you could generally find them in that part of the grass after Misty's Gym and Celadon. And I was just over there looking for one, and I found them within like five to ten minutes. Yeah, that's kind of how my Nidorino was. I kind of just trained him up to say that I leveled him up. Nidoqueen is the one I typically use. Hello again. Yeah, except you're not doing good against... At some point, yes, I would like to, but I actually want to wait a little bit. There's, I think there's a couple more moves that Kadabra learns before that it doesn't learn out of Alakazam. I need to look at his uh, move sets again before I want to evolve him. Because I do at some point. Because we're, we were going to go and try to find a Ghastly. That was the next endeavor. We're going to go and try and find Ghastly and get a Haunter. And then level him up and trade him up for a Gengar and an Alakazam. Venonat! I like Venonat, I just think they're kind of fuzzy and purple and awesome. I haven't seen Executor yet, that, that'd be a new one for me right there. That's what you want, the Venonat or the Executor? Yeah, Gengar. I know my son has a stuff. It's hysterical. He has a stuffed Gengar, and I was gonna. Ah, oh, Drowsy! Yay! I love Drowsies. Gengar is one of the badasses of badassdom, though. Absolutely. Trust me, that's gonna be an ordeal. I, I had no idea. Kill, kill my Drowsy! Why? Why kill Drowsy? Scratch him! Why do you hate Hypnos? They have better defense, typically. But Drowsy is fine. His nose is fun. Come on now. He has a fun nose. Don't, don't get me wrong, though. I, I take my... Kadabra is my favorite Pokemon, like, literally out of all of them. I really couldn't tell you why. Kadabra's always been my favorite. I mean, at any generation, any of them. I love Kadabras. So I would not pick a Drowsy over one. But I need for collection. All the rest will die after this one as long as I catch it. Which didn't happen anyway, so. New Diglett! Oh, okay. Got no idea why. Just, <laughs> just a thing. No, I understand completely. 
Everybody's got a thing. Ooh, he's got a cloister. See, I haven't seen a cloister yet. The only Pokemon I hate. Yeah. They're out there, don't get me wrong. I hate Mr. Mime. Creeps me out, dude. He He's funky looking. I don't... He wigs me out. He looks like he's gonna stand over your bed with a knife or something. I just don't dig him. Yay! Alright, well, we will not work at evolving the drowsy. We will just have him for collection's sake. Oh, that's right. Diglett fainted again. Bless his heart. I can't get him to level up very good. Don't look at the Electro Mr. Mind fusion. Oh, God! I love those fusions. I don't think I've seen that one, though. Ah! No, that would scare the crap out of me. I don't like puppets anyway, it's just a thing. Pup see, puppets is my thing. Ever since I was little. I don't do them. And heal. And back out. I'm waiting on, unless I'm not seeing it, I'm still waiting on my gold membership to come through. I'm supposed to have gotten it yet. I haven't gotten the confirmation email, though. Figured I'd just go on and do that, because I'm going to be playing this game a lot. As long as I don't have work or school. Arbok was better than he was. Arbok and Scyther, those are two. I think I might go for Pikachu, but who knows. Yeah, no, I love I love Raichus. Or, I think I need water. Yeah, I was working on a Gyarados right before you showed me where to get a Diglett, so I figured I'll go on and level up Diglett. Because Gyarados don't help for Vermilion. See, water types, though, are kind of one of those, like, you can almost make anyone good. Just about. I never hear of anybody using a Sea King, but I mean, go, you could get Poliwhirls, Poly, yeah, what is it? Poliwrath. Yeah, Poliwrath, Cloisters, Seals, Dugongs, Psyducks, Golducks. I just caught a Krabby a bit ago. I almost want to use a Kingler just to use one. I always want Arbok to be a good Pokemon, and then it just never... Now it would, yeah, a Mega Evolution Arbok would be killer. It's just never quite, like, as strong as I want it to be. It's kind of the same with Scyther. Like, Scyther always looks really badass, and I want him to be really good and use one, but every time I actually try to battle with it, it's always just kind of, eh. I'm like, I don't want to kill it. It's going to kill Diglett. I guess Poison Sting won't kill it. There you go. Yay! Yes, go get your old rod. I like that you have to actually, like, level up abilities in this game, too. I've got my fishing going a little bit. Level 5. <laughs> right! 
The only thing I managed to find with it so far was a Magikarp and a Krabby, but hey, like I said, Magikarp was getting get you a Gyarados, and I was working on one. He's like level 15 now. But grats for sure. Definitely need fishing rods. Hey, paralyzed by Sandstream. Man, this Ekans is being a pain in the ass. <laughs> and... And I can't... What kind of... What was that? I died and then I hit after I died and I killed the Ekans with it. Like... Sad. Just all sad. And then I got in a fight. Oops. Raise my Pokemon carefully. Nah, probably not careful enough. Until it died, right? And down goes Diglett. You weren't ready for that battle yet, buddy. Go Butterfree. happened when it died? Huh. See what I've never heard of, man. I see people thinking for like running into level 60 something wild Pokemon. Like I never even heard of such nonsense until this game. I want that shiny Gyarados, man. I've seen that guy running around with a red Gyarados. I guess they didn't introduce the Mega Evolutions in this game. Probably not. That looks like Arceus stuff up there. Oh, she's leveled that up, man. That's got a haunch crow. I love those. That person been playing for a minute. Santa! Ah! Santa, you're always so inconvenient. Come on, Diglett! dog is having a sad because I'm ignoring him for Pokemon. Bless his heart. What'd you find? God, see, so just Magikarp, nice. Like level 10, it wasn't too bad. He leveled up pretty quick though, as long as I kept him out front. Diglett is trying to learn magnitude. Yes! I don't want to be training all day anyway. Yeah, I know, that's that is kind of my day, unfortunately. Training, don't get me wrong, running around and leveling definitely it gets to the point where it puts me to sleep at times. I almost wish I could all day though, because then I'll either have to be at work or school. Otherwise I would just sit here and play this game all day. 
well, better is in the eye of the beholder. I, I just must to have money and get education to make more money. We're always on, um, we do a whole bunch of different games on here, though, and we're always on on Saturday nights. We'll, we'll get on and do shots and hang out and play a bunch of games and stuff. And I try to, I try to get on here on Sundays, too. I try to get on, on here every Tuesday and Thursday morning because I don't go to work and then I just go to school here later. Like, I gotta head out in about an hour. And then we're always on on Saturday nights and I'm trying to start getting on during the day on Sundays, too. Homework permitting. Oh, okay, I got you. No, my school does not cancel. We got all the snow, though. We've had, we had more snow here than I'd seen in, I mean, years and years. It was awesome. Yeah, the leveling didn't take, it wasn't too bad. My love, my fishing's at level five now. Oh, shoot. I didn't even mean to hit run. Yeah, like, we, we never get snow. I mean, we're lucky. I say lucky if we get ice. We get ice more frequently than we get, like, for real, for real snow. So it was amazing to me. My work got shut down and everything. That almost never happens. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to catch anything, take a magic carp. It is perfect. Why, fuss bucket? What are you barking about? Level 16 drowsy. Growlithe too. Arcanines are phenomenal. Man, I played, I still have Pokemon Yellow, the original Game Boy version. And like my badass team was like Rhydon, Arcanine, Dugong, Dragonite, and something else. And two, and two other ones that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Yeah, Arcanine would be up there on my list. Kadabra is my absolute favorite. Just always loved him. Ninetales is awesome. Arcanine's awesome. I love Dragonite. I'm a big dragon fan. I love Rapidash, too. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. Diglett just died. Oops. Go, Sanshu. Got a Charmander, you probably, I mean, unless whatever starter you pick affects what Pokemon that you see during the game, you should probably still be able to have both. Doing. Oh, 
Welcome to my Pokemon world. This is called Pokemon Planet. It is an online... It's, it's basically the same thing as like Pokemon Fire Red or Pokemon Red and Blue, only it's online. It's amazing. You go and you get your starter and you run around, but there's everyone else is online with you and you can battle people. You still do gyms and all of that shit. It's, it's awesome. And I've been totally addicted to it. I know Pokemon. Oh, uh, yes, very much so. I've been playing Pokemon ever since it first came out in the 90s. Yeah, it is, uh, it's, it's, a, it's harder than the actual, um, console games, too. Leveling takes a little bit more. It's harder to find, um, certain Pokemon, Abras, Pikachus, Gastlys, and that kind of stuff. Are a little bit more difficult to find, so everyone's not just running around completely KOing each other. Oh, this game, dude, I can't believe I didn't know this game sooner. Like, I will be playing this forever. Ooh, crit hit. Shit. Ah, okay, that was a fail. That was a little bit of a fail. It's alright. Sitting here trying to train up for Surge right now. Working with my Diglett and my Sandshrew. Pokemon Planet. Just to be real, like, I... Can I put in a link? Uh, it's fine with... Fine with me if it's not... Anything... Nasty. <laughs> Go for it, good sir. games. Huh! It's just the same, the same kind of concept, I guess. I know, this whole, po this Pokemon MMO thing has really been a thing that apparently I've been missing for way too long. And I was looking at it originally because I was, um, I had been playing I can't remember what it's called. Pokemon Generations. It was this Pokemon MMORPG that was going on that was a bit, yeah, that ended up crashing and burning. I don't know whatever happened to it. And it was another game. I thought it was called Pokemon Planet, and it looked more like Pokemon Generations did. More of that 3D kind of effect. And I happened to stumble upon this, and I'm just completely addicted to it. So it's this, and I'm waiting for Pokemon Go. I'm waiting for that Pokemon Go game to come on the phones, on the apps. So is, is that the one that you play, Captain? Looks like this, but it, but it looks better. Oh, okay, I gotcha. This one does, um, it's definitely got, it's kind of glitchy. start like checking all of these out though I didn't really know that there were so many of them out there get Oshimoy. yeah does the Pokemon MMO have um, like the other generations or is it just focused on the first 150 out of curiosity. I'm all about everything Pokemon. You can go to Kanto and Hoenn. It's 
Generation 3. Okay. That's what I kind of like about it. Every one of them kind of seems to do a little something different. Like, I haven't, I haven't played enough of this nearly to know exactly what all you can do, but I've heard you can go to a whole bunch of different ones, and I've heard... I mean, I've seen somebody trying to sell a Goomy, so they they got some pretty late generations going on in this game. I did get my Goomy all the way to a Gudra in my Pokemon X, and I, that one's badass. I love those. I love dragons. That might be different, because from what I can see, I think you have to be- I think you have to beat Kano on this one before you can move on. I could be wrong. Again, I'm really new to this one. We've only been playing for a couple days. Now, I mean, to this MMO, anyway. I've been playing Pokemon since I was, like, six, but... Oh, crap. Yeah, this- these servers were busier last night. This might would've- this might would've been a bad time. seems less cloggy right now. Last night, man, there were so many people. It was like you were running through grass, but you're actually running through a sea of people. I do like that. No bullshit, just games. It's a lot more customizable. to you. The graphics are really good. It, it does look really clean. This one seems a little bit more leaning towards the old school side. You can make teams. That's awesome. That would be really fun. cycles in that one. Hey, look, that's where I am. It's got some, I mean, I'm definitely, I can't say it doesn't look like it's got some cool stuff on it. It would definitely be worth at least looking into. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to look at- I'm gonna have to look into it, Captain. I'm definitely gonna look into it. I'm gonna tell, uh, I'll tell Kayla about it, my husband, when he gets home tonight. like the gyms and the Elite Four and all that kind of stuff, and then so you go from Kano to Hoenn.
Like really, like my dream would be if like they would make Pokemon like they make Fallout games. With that kind of quality and realism, it would be absolutely astounding. Storyline's the same. Okay. How do legendaries work in this game? I haven't, like, you know, like the birds and Mewtwo and all of them, do they still, are they still an option? Or do they just eliminate those so players can't run around with them, I would assume. Now, see, yeah, I like the team battling aspect where you could actually, like, team up with other people and go... Can't catch legendaries yet. Yeah, I didn't figure you probably could. And even if you could, they'd probably have to be at some kind of event or something. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I don't really think there should be, because you'll end up having too many people running around with legendaries, and then it just takes the fun out of it anyway. Imagine everybody running around with a Mewtwo. There's a guy with a shiny Charizard. What the hell? Who got lucky enough to get a shiny Charizard? Luckiest I've ever. Oh yeah, and Tammy would laugh. The only thing I've ever caught was a shiny Drowsy. Only thing I've ever had in my entire life was a shiny Drowsy. I did not get that lucky. Man, beggars can't be choosers. It was shiny. I had to get it. It made it like pink. It was kind of funny. We can, let's do a battle real quick, that'd be fun, I can't guarantee I'm gonna be very good, but we can battle and then I'm unfortunately gonna have to get going here pretty soon, I gotta get ready and head off to classes here in about an hour. Only one player can own Mewtwo and another player can battle him, really? If you win, you get the Mewtwo. See, that'd be cool. That, that would be the other way to do it, is to only have one person. Well, that might be kind of fun. I'm trying to get to the center. Same with Rayquaza and Grudon, Kyogre, all of them, yeah. Oh, I got a Gligar. Ah! Okay, this guy's kind of been having a moment. This guy's been standing over here with the Sea King for like, I don't even know how long. Alright, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! This is alright, let's see here. Uh huh. I can play that game? Come on! Hey, is, I should turn the stream off. This isn't fair. You can see everything I'm doing. <laughs> Oh! 
Damn! It was a good call, though. Yeah, Charmeleon learns Dragon Rage. His badassness. Mm. Oh, you're ground. That wasn't this one. Alright. Alright. Hey, fair enough. Good job. Alright, Kadabra. Yes, we do use EV and IV training in this game, and they sell, um, like, you can do resets. You can buy stuff that will reset them if you ever want to go and redo that type of training. Damn, nice. Recoil sucks, though. Very much. GG indeed. That was fun. I like it. That was actually my first trainer, my first, like, online trainer battle, so thank you much for that. Yes, breeding egg moves, too. Yep, you sure do. We got those. Oh, he's got a Kingler! I know, recoil and explosion. It's a pain in the ass. I haven't actually, like, tampered into the breeding on this game to really see what all it does, but I went into a place where you could exchange some kind of points for egg moves. So I do know it's a possibility. There seem to be a lot more people on here now, even from when I got on here like an hour or so ago. probably better on tonight after everybody gets off of school and work and whatnot. Oh, he caught him in Abra. My dog's having a dream back here. Boom. Wake up. He's, a, he's having a dream. <laughs> a good price be for a nitto i just to be honest with you i have no clue i haven't really looked into pricing on pokemon my husband would be the one to look into that he looked all into that still always put it up for auction. Money, yeah. Money's money. It all spins if you don't want it anymore. Rather than just releasing it. And no, I'm, trust me, I'm still gonna look into it, Captain. I just don't, like I said, I'm fixing to really kind of need to be heading off to go get ready for school, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd go on and check it out. I just don't quite have time right at this second to go try and start something new. I should tonight, though. I'm planning on trying to get back, um, I don't know what time zone you guys are in. It's 12.15 here. And I'm planning... I get back around 6 o'clock tonight from all of my classes. Try to get on again later tonight. Or at least have my husband put it on and we be trying or something. Because my husband's stream's on here too. That's Caleb. He'll be on here too.
I think we were gonna- I think we're gonna, gonna try to go find him a ghastly tonight. I think. But we both haven't beaten Surge either yet, so... You're, put your netto up. Good luck to you, sir. Oh, I didn't mean to hit scratch. Flame. Burn it! Do you have a ghastly? I need your ghastly. I think finding a ghastly is about going to be like finding an abra and be kind of a pain in the ass. Shiny Gyarados. I have seen a lot of those. More and more. Oh, man. I got big such a kid, too. I don't want to go to school. I want to play Pokemon. <laughs> That's a good point. If that's still an event at the Lake of Raid and you still catch the shiny one, you would have a good point. Yeah. Yeah, over in the Johto. If it, yeah, as long as they, if that's still an event and they still let you try to catch one over there, that would be exactly why. Because it's either that or every damn person's running around fighting a shiny Magikarp. Hunter. I need I need your Pokemon, sir. He's got me. Did I fight everybody over here? Never won before. Well, sorry about your luck, buddy. Oh, Growlithe! Sorry, Dad. First your bubble on your Growlithe. What? Okay. What kind of shit is that? I am ground. He just KO'd me. It, it's a battle. I didn't find one in the grass. It's a battle. Trust me, I wish. No. Much more of a freak out would have happened if that was an actual catchable Pokemon. You would have heard me with a quickness. I know. Wishful thinking. I understand. Believe me. I know I've seen the Crobat. Jealousy! Crobats are phenomenal. I have a Zubat. I mean, I guess it's, it's a possibility one of these days. Got your Ratata.
Yeah, I've seen Crobat Wings, Charizard Wings, and Dragonite Wings. Any of which I would be perfectly content with having. I think I like Dragonite Wings, though. Yeah, that didn't work like I was hoping it would. Damn, Hyper Fang. Gamer Dirk. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, Steel. No, I got you. Critical hit. Yeah, good natures are... My husband has sat looking for a particular Pokemon over and over and over again just to get the right nature. Damn, plus attack on a Diglett would be really good. And he paralyzed me. No! Come on, there you go. Haha, old man. red. I thought green meant you were admin. Gold means your gold level. White standard. What's red mean? I haven't seen red. What, fuss bucket? What? Come here. You wanna come say hi? Come here. Come here. Oh. Come say hi. Are you feeling lonely? He gets sad whenever I don't pay enough attention to him. Don't you? Yes. Is Red Owner? Oh! I don't know. That's the only time I've ever seen a red name, though. I've seen green, I've seen yellow, I've not seen red. <laughs> Thank you. This is Pumba. This is Pumba. Scratching the crap. Okay, don't ask to get down. If you don't want down, there you go. Is my baby? Yes. <laughs> you feel better? Did you need to sit over here? So I woke up and nobody was loving me. Oh, you have to sit up if you're over here. Say hi! <laughs> he's, my li he's my live Pokemon. With three Diglets. <laughs> I wonder how that happens. This guy's called Shiny Nitto King. Yeah, this guy, Brody. Oh, holy crap! It is the owner. Like when I did my gold membership, that's the name that popped up. And he's. Wow. Is that a level X chart? Is that an X Charizard? Looks like a black Charizard. Or shiny, at least. Well, that's kind of spiffy, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you were right. That's that's the owner, and that's definitely his shiny Charizard. Huh. 
Huh. And there goes the three diglets. Like, I almost wish you could wave or something. Just wave at him. Hi. Sorry that I have to bounce there, man, but I really do have to get ready for school at this point. Um, like I said, I try to get on here Tuesdays and Thursdays about this time. I wake up, do a little bit of homework, try to get it done, and then I get on here for a little bit until classes. We're definitely always on on Saturday nights, too. Me and my husband both will be on on Saturday nights. That usually, that usually starts, we try to get it started around 9 o'clock. But we are always on on Saturday nights, and I'm going to try and start getting on more on Sundays a little bit, too. So, um, I've added you to my friends list, though. We'll definitely have to catch back up on it sometime. Come and hang out. It's always a good time. But I definitely, I appreciate the so much the Diglett and coming in and chatting and hanging out. Ooh, Venusaur. I haven't seen a Venusaur. It's always a good time. I appreciate it. Check out Rikizi. That, yeah, Rikizi? Is that what it's called? since I got a bounce. I'm going to check out MMO tonight, though. I'll get back over in town and save. I'll have to do some more leveling tonight before I can go beat Surge. gonna have to do it for me. I appreciate y'all coming out to hang out, though. Come and check us out all the time. I appreciate it. The more we start doing this, the more fun we can have. We'll all start getting on here. We can start trying to battle and level up, and I, it'll be a good time. I love doing that kind of stuff. That's what I've wanted Pokemon to be forever, actually. And I now have a pug who is staring at me, begging me to go outside. Lord, he's a mess. But yeah, it was really nice to meet you, Tammy, Captain. I appreciate you both very much. Um, if you want to, hit the follow. We'll pop up whenever that we come on, and whenever I'm on, we can totally get together and battle and level up and see what all we can figure out. And we'll get my husband on here, too. He'll come and party with us, too. Ooh, tentacle. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Thank you guys very much. We'll be on... Um, I'll definitely be on on Thursday. I'll be on Thursday sometime for sure before one o'clock. So thank y'all very much. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>